Getting ready to wrap up our Players to Watch Conference Tournament Edition. Uh, we are now going to look at the Big East, uh, a conference that has been just about as wild in the middle as any this season. Of course, with teams like Villanova running things, and then behind them, a pack of absolutely hungry dogs, man. It's been awesome to watch uh, Georgetown, Providence, St. John's, Seton Hall at the beginning of the year, certainly Xavier making some things happen in there, and Butler as well. Uh, it's been extremely fun to watch. Let's talk about Big East Tournament. Let's talk about some players to watch. I am going to start with Darren Hilliard of Villanova. Uh, he kind of makes the Wildcats go. He, he's as close to a quote-unquote star as Jay Wright has at Villanova. Now, Villanova's likely going to probably face off a team like Marquette in, the, in their first game, and then they're going to move on to play the winner of Providence and St. John's. Hilliard's got to be huge for this team. Villanova has shown they can be beat by some of the non-elite teams in this conference, uh, but they've also shown that they can absolutely destroy some of the elite teams in this conference. So, I need Hilliard to step up, make things happen, continue playing offensively as smooth from inside and out, attacking the rim, knocking down jumpers as he had has for much of the year. He's kind of the cog offensively that brings everything together and is probably the most dynamic guy Villanova has offensively. So I'd like to see him perform. And then I want to talk about a couple guards that he is going to face off with if Villanova, of course, advances outside of their first game, uh, starting with Providence and the leading scorer in the conference, uh, of course, that would be LaDante Hetton, my Big East Player of the Year. Uh, Hetton can absolutely ruthlessly kill you uh, from a number of different spots. Uh, if Providence wants to make a run by beating Villanova, really moving up their seed line in the NCAA tournament, and, and if they beat Villanova, I'd probably have them as my favorite to win the conference tournament. If they want to do that, it's going to be on the back of Hetton. Certainly, Chris Dunn at the point guard spot is going to be important as well, but I do think the responsibility falls on De Henton to make things happen offensively. I also want to look at St. John's, my preseason Big East Player of the Year, D'Angelo Harrison. Uh, he, he's really, in my opinion, stepped up his feel for the game this season. Uh, he's been able to get more teammates involved, uh, not exactly go on wild stretches of minutes where he's just jacking up whatever he wants. I do think he's played extremely well for much of this year, and I think that if they want to beat Providence and get a shot at Villanova, it's going to, of course, have to start with him. Now, if they do match up with Villanova, they've got to put up a better fight than they did recently, losing by almost 40 points. That was absolutely embarrassing. Uh, one of the worst performances I've seen out of a tournament-type team all season long. I, I don't want to see that ever again from that team and Steve Lavin's group. Uh, so, But if it's going to happen, if they're going to make a run, if they're going to upset Villanova in that second game, if they get by Providence, of course, they're going to have to rely on D'Angelo Harrison on the perimeter. My last guy, one of my favorite guards in the country, not incredibly physically gifted with stature, strength, or athleticism, uh, but Devontae Smith-Rivera at Georgetown has helped the Hoyas get the number two seed in this conference tournament, be one of the better teams in the conference. I, I love this team. I, I really and truly do. Uh, they're going to match up against the winner, of course, of Butler and Xavier, a, a game that could certainly go either way. Uh, Xavier taking care of Butler at home just a few weeks ago. But Smith Rivera, he, he's what makes this team go. Uh, because, of course, you have Josh Smith, the big load in the middle who can make things happen and is, is a matchup nightmare at times. Smith Rivera is a bucket getter. There are certain guys in college basketball that get buckets. He is on the all-bucket team. Smith Rivera can play this game. And as we say in the streets, that boy, nice. Watch out for him and watch out for these other guys in the Big East Tournament.